The RCAD tip of the week, as I mentioned, is migrating projects with the VIM server. First, what versions can be migrated? So projects can be migrated from ARCHICAD 13, 320 to version 21. And I'm assuming when the next version comes out, version 22, that will be very much the same. What you will need before migrating a project. So you're going to need both the 13 to 20, whatever the current version you're using, okay, plus the um, the most recent version that you're migrating to. So if you're on version 20, you need to make sure that 20 is installed, and Archaea 21 is also installed on the client machine. You need to be able to also access to the BIM server of 13 to 20, well, again, whatever the older version that you are working with, and the most uh, recent version of the BIM server or BIM cloud that you're using, in this case, version 21. An important thing to remember for hot links, uh, and I get this question a lot from users. So what often happens with hot links is that you've upgraded your server, you've upgraded your individual stations, all to Archicad, let's say in this case, 21. Then you go to open a teamwork project, and all of a sudden, all your hot links are missing. And that's because the actual hot link files are still on the older version. So what you're going to need to do on any hot link files, you're going to need to upgrade them to the most current version. All you need to do is simply open them and save them, okay? Because in essence, you need to open them into the current version and then save them so they're now the current version and the current version can then read them. Migration process is two steps. First, you need to prepare the project for migration. Uh, you do this in the Archicad 13 to 20 version files, the older version. And then you need to migrate uh, a prepared project. Of course, this you would do in, in the most current version you're on, in this case, Archicad 21. So the first step you would do is to prepare your project for migration. You do this by first, as I mentioned, opening the project into the older version, that being Archicad 13 to 20. Make sure that all users have sent in their changes. It's really important. Before you ever start doing any of this, make sure that anybody who's using uh, or is working on a project has already sent in and updated um, the project with any changes they have on their individual workstations. So they don't lose that. Once they've done that, then you open, um, uh, then you're ready to prepare the migration. So what you're going to want to do is go to Teamwork menu, select Project, Migrate Project, and prepare for migration. Once you do that, you'll see this dialog that comes up. You'll click the prepare button, and the project is then ready for migration. If you have any additional projects that you have, click the open another project button and follow the same steps. Once you finish that, move to step two. Step two is to migrate the prepared project. So in other words, to migrate that project you just finished preparing. So, now we would go uh, start Archicad 21. We would choose, again, Teamwork, Project, in this case, Migrate Project, and Migrate Prepared Projects. Again, a dialog box will come up. Assuming that you've already prepared a project, um, you're going to select that project and click the Next button. In the next dialog uh, you're going to then choose a destination server uh, for whatever that would be and click again the migrate button and at that point it's going to migrate that project to the most recent um, uh, uh, most recent version that you're using <clears throat> and then you can manually delete it if you want from the old BIM server as well um, Finally, you want to manage, again, the hot links of any modules or drawings, as I mentioned earlier. So, you know, again, if, if you've got older uh, hot links, it's really important to follow these steps, you know, um, because otherwise you might end up with um, some uh, missing links um, in that process. Um, <clears throat> links on the same BIM server. So there's hot link modules that are external, right? 
And then there's also uh, links to hotlink drawings that are part of the BIM server. So if you have any links that are external, right, hotlink modules that are individual files, as I mentioned earlier, you need to open those, save them in the most current version. If they're actually um, projects that, that were linked, that were in the BIM server, you need to make sure that you also migrate uh, any of those uh, hotlink drawings or source project files that were part of that BIM server. And also if they were a part of a different BIM server. So we've had instances where you have BIM server that you know, maybe is on different computers. You just need to make sure that you bring all that stuff into the most current uh, server that you're uh, upgrading to. So that is the process of migrating a project from an older uh, RTCAD server to the most current.